how to burn more calories while you work. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Why would you do this? Why would you put a treadmill at your desk and burn more calories? Well, that's exactly why. You burn more calories throughout the day with a treadmill desk. Now, this treadmill desk from Rebel Desk is actually two pieces. So we have the desk itself and the treadmill. <laughs> uh, the treadmill is not a treadmill as you would see in the gym or at your house. It is a basically a, a you know just a pipe down version of it. It has no arms. It is small. It's lightweight. You can pick it up. It has wheels on that end, so you can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it's hard to walk and talk at the same time. No, so it's it's a pipe down version of it, and it, you can use it with any desk that you want. Uh, so you don't have to have Rebel's desk if you have a, an existing desk of your own. It there are studies that say it increases productivity tremendously to be moving about while working. Now, I've never had a problem with productivity, <laughs> but I can guess that that would be true. It does keep you going. It keeps your, your heart rate up. For instance, um, my heart rate while standing is right about 65 to 72. While I'm going two miles an hour on this thing, it increases to 79 to 86. Now, a 150 pound person can burn um, about 750 calories if you're walking at two miles an hour for four hours. So keep that in mind. That is certainly a good enough reason to get this treadmill desk. Now, let's talk about the controller. So you have the, the treadmill, but then you have the controller itself. It can go anywhere you want on your desk, and you've got speed. It'll go from 0.5 up to two miles an hour. So that's as low as it'll go, and then it'll go up to two miles an hour. You can see your speed, the time you've been walking, and the distance you've gone. Start and stop, of course, and a safety emergency stop. Now, technically, you should be clipping this to your bean while walking. I don't, shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but if you have any concerns, then you absolutely should. But I can multitask. A lot of you are asking, can you actually type while walking? And let me show you. So when you hit start, it actually starts out very, very slowly. So it, has, it gives you time to ramp up and, and get into that half a mile or that two mile an hour speed. Now, it is not hard at all to sit here and type and see everything and concentrate. It's, it's not a problem at all. And everybody is skeptical about it until I throw, you know, all the guys around here have been like, how does it work? So I've thrown them on here and every single time they have been like, oh, wow, I can do that. That's pretty easy. So you don't have to worry about that. And it is quiet. You hear this. This is at half a mile an hour. It, you're barely hearing anything. When it gets up to two, you do hear it, but it is quiet, especially for a treadmill. It's not going to bother you while you work. Now, if you have roommates like I do, Ken and John share in the office with me, it could bother them if they're on a call or something like that. But if you're in a, a, you know, a, an office alone, you don't have to worry about that. You drown the sound out. And the heck. Shoes, the shoes make a big difference. Yeah, the shoes, if you're gonna wear tennis shoes, like these are my comfortable heels, but they're not heels. <laughs> I would not suggest doing this with heels. Stomping around like a Clydesdale. Yeah, I mean, if you get a heavy walker like me, <laughs> that's the only sound that's going to bother you. Uh, it is, um, 
it is really easy to just work and ignore the sound. And you can always listen to an audiobook on Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. You can listen to anything. They have over 100,000 titles. So whatever your interests are, like... Uh, how about science fiction and fantasy? Uh, you can just choose whatever it is you want and you can listen anywhere you want on your treadmill, at the gym, walking to work, whatever. <laughs> and also thank you so much to all of our patrons who are helping to support this show like A&M Digital Technologies. Uh, they provide IT support for homes and small businesses. They do uh, off-site data storage, also file recovery, 95% recovery rate, which is fantastic. And you can go check out their YouTube page and Help Desk with Joe. They give all sorts of tips and uh, suggestions for getting the most. Thank you so much for supporting us. Now, let's talk about sitting. So sometimes you wanna sit, right? Sometimes you don't want to be walking around or standing. And you have a couple of options. I'm going to say there's no real perfect solution for sitting while you have a treadmill at your desk. Now you could move this over a little and put a chair on the side and you, you just switch back and forth. So you sit here and you stand and walk here. Uh, that is an option, but to be honest, for me, then you have to adjust all your monitors, change everything. It's not, it's not perfect. Um, now I have found <laughs> one chair in the entire office that fits right along the edge here that I could crank this desk down and sit down. Now, I will not say that that is perfect either because you have to have the right chair. Who knows what kind of damage I'm putting on this long term. It's actually dangerous because what if the treadmill moves uh, while you're sitting there? So it's <laughs> that I may do, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. You could sit on the other side of your desk and turn everything around. Or like a lot of companies, Google for instance, have separate workstations for their treadmill. So it's not a perfect solution. Uh, you are pretty much committed to sitting and walking when you put a treadmill desk at your desk. But you know, if you have the type of job where you have a lot of meetings or lunches or things like that, you can use that time as your sitting time. That works out really well as well. Um, this treadmill is about $650. So it's a really good price. I, I think it's totally worth it, especially considering the fact that it gets you moving, it increases your heart rate, it increases the amount of calories that you burn. I mean, just those numbers exam for, as an example earlier, up to 750 calories, you know, that works. So let's talk about the desk itself. This is the Rebel Desk. It's a crank version. You guys have seen me talk about a lot of stand-up desks. So you just crank it easily up and down. It'll hold um, 75 pounds on it. And I really, so I dig this one because it has a few really cool options. Right here you see that you have uh, two power outlets and two USB ports right built into the desk. Now it is a separate controller, so it can come off. You don't have to have it and then you can keep all your gadgets plugged in. And over here, we have little cubby holes <laughs> for your pens, uh, cards, you know, whatever you wanna put in here, you have room to organize. And that is always kind of one of the things that you have to deal with when you have a standing desk. Uh, you can get this in glass or wood, and it's $600. And then also, you'll notice over here, you knocked my robot off, Curly. He, he jumped. <laughs> right under here, you have a little cable routing, uh, two pieces just to be able to route all your cables uh, nice and neat. So that's pretty much it. That is the Rebel Desk and the treadmill. I'm gonna go back to walking and working. Give us two thumbs up on YouTube. One if you got them. Oh no, I did it backwards, Dave. What do we do? <laughs>
<laughs> I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.